Sponsored by Surfshark. October's Kindle announcement in New York City contained multitudes. More than just a chance for Amazon to take the wraps off its latest e-readers, it was an opportunity for the company to reframe the story of the 17-year-old Kindle in a modern context. As the opposite of your distraction-laden smartphone, the antidote to your bottomless TikTok feed, the on-ramp to an oasis of learning and creation. To tell that story, Amazon relied on the talents of one of the most gifted product people in tech, Panos Panay, who seemed more at home than ever, explaining how pumped he was about the new Kindle's ability to keep him in his flow. And while his personal favorite is the new Kindle Scribe, the most anticipated Kindle in recent memory is the one that finally comes in color. Now that might have been an even bigger deal if a host of competitors hadn't beaten Kindle to the punch. I reviewed my first color e-ink device back in 2020. And the years since have seen umpteen versions of the concept come to market, from simple e-readers to fully-fledged e-paper Android tablets to LCD-based minimalist computers. And yet, Despite how late Amazon may be to the party, this is still a big deal because of how loyal its user base is. No alternative e-reader has as large a collection as the Kindle store. Kindle's market share in the U.S. sits at around 72%, and the associated network effects are significant because Kindle users can share libraries and loan books between one another. And while it's true you can run the Kindle app on an Android e-ink tablet, that also nullifies the single-purpose nature of the device as a refuge from your device. More on that in a moment. First, let's get on the same page about the product itself. In addition to the Colorsoft Amazon sent me to review, it also handed out the new Kindle Paperwhite to those who attended the launch event. Panos said they had to be careful about changing this one, since the Paperwhite is the most popular Kindle used today, and careful they were. The biggest thing that sets this one apart from the prior Paperwhite from 2021 is the display, now with greater contrast and speed. It's 20% faster to refresh its little e-ink capsules whenever you turn a page, and the page itself is 0.2 inches larger. And while that display is still 16-level grayscale, the colorful theme of the whole announcement makes itself known on the backside. Jade and raspberry soft touch options mean that even if you don't use a case, your Kindle can still turn heads. Yeah, that said, you'll probably want to budget for a case anyway, whose magnetic covers wake and sleep the Kindle automatically, a much more elegant solution than relying on the ergonomic sin that is this bottom-mounted power button just as prone to accidental pinky presses as it was when this UX nightmare debuted all those years ago. Paradoxically, there are no playful casings on the Colorsoft, which is offered only in satin black, the only hint to its colorful nature being a slight holographic treatment to its logo. I guess that makes a degree of sense if you want to showcase its biggest upgrade. And in bringing color to the Kindle, Amazon certainly didn't skimp on effort. I lost count of the number of times the company called out its new Oxide Backplane, which is what gives you the contrast and refresh speed. And the old Broad Spectrum front light has been replaced by nitride LEDs with all new waveguides to enhance color. Now, unfortunately, somewhere in the shift, the lighting has picked up a slightly dingy quality toward the bottom of the screen, a yellowish tint that's tough to reproduce on camera, but called out by several early buyers in their reviews. Hello, it's your friend, mid-edit Mr. Mobile, on election day. I'm pro-opera and I vote. Wanted to update you on some sort of breaking news with regard to the color stuff that yellow band issue has caused a delay in shipping. Amazon pausing shipments for... Um, a week, possibly two weeks, maybe after Thanksgiving, as it tries to work on that issue, apparently with a software fix, as reported by good e-reader, uh, in response to a lot of the negative reviews that purchasers have left on Amazon.com. So uh, we will see if the company's efforts to fix it through software bear fruit, or if it'll have to replace them all or, or do a whole new hardware run. So with that exception, let's return to the rest of my review. 
Amazon says it was careful not to compromise on the grayscale experience. So you've got the same 300 ppi print density when reading in black and white. But I have to admit, I do find text on the grayscale paper white a hair sharper than on the color version. Overall, to my eye, what we've got here is a slightly better form of the color e-ink I've seen for a few years now. It's nowhere near the saturation and richness of an OLED or LCD. I've heard a few people say it's a bit like the kind of color a newspaper gives you, and that's about right. Of course, the chief benefits to e-ink remain the same. It actually gets more visible the more light you throw on it, so it's perfect for reading in the sun. It doesn't strain your eyes the way a backlit display can, and it sips power. Since I moved into the Kindle on Tuesday, I've devoured at least a few chapters a night, along with some afternoon reading every day, not to mention all the footage I've had to capture for this video. Five days later, the battery is still above 50%. And since the Colorsoft only comes in a signature edition trim, when you top it up, you've got the option of doing so with or without wires. I can't say the addition of color has changed all that much about the experience of owning a Kindle. The comic books that would most obviously benefit would also benefit from a bigger screen, especially since the pixel density gets cut in half in color mode, down to 150 ppi. But color does make the Kindle feel more modern, whether you're seeing a book cover in standby mode or scrubbing through a library full of that cover art. And color also comes in handy when highlighting, which I actually do very often. I used to color code them, blue for somber stuff, red for statements I disagreed with, or which made me mad, yellow for neutral passages to remember. These days I tend to just use whatever color feels right in the moment, but if you're as organized as I used to be, this is a handy way to keep track of those little literary morsels. You can even search by color. And more important than what's changed is what hasn't. The Kindle is still the distraction-free reading experience that I desperately need more of. Every time I choose to burn some time on the Kindle instead of my phone, I come away calmer and happier than if I'd spent the same time on Instagram or Reddit or threads or even the Kindle app on my phone, with all those distractions just to swipe away. Fortunately, you can still get those benefits in black and white, because color comes at a cost, namely $279 versus $199 for the paper white. And that comes down to $159 if you don't need the added storage, wireless charging, and auto brightness of the signature edition. And, you know, if you made me pick just one, I'd say the Paper White is the best product of the bunch this season, the best mix of maturity and value. For those on a budget, you've got the entry-level Kindle at 109, and at the high end there's the new Kindle Scribe, with a lot of updates but still no color. Maybe we'll delve into that one in a future video. That's more upgrades at once than Amazon has ever given to the Kindle family, and that makes for a solid holiday lineup if you're giving to a reader this season. That said, I come away from my week with the new Kindles convinced there's more to come. As I said the last time I reviewed one of these, the rise of foldables has opened up a whole new potential playground for eBooks. Panos made the point on stage that color helps us feel things and process our memories more deeply. And I'd argue that form factor provides an emotional context that's almost as important. The way you hold and use a hinged handheld evokes the opening and closing of a book. And while the smallest Kindle is technically small enough to pocket, it doesn't get nearly as portable as Panos Panay's previous product from his Microsoft days, the Surface Duo. I understand that there's a lot standing between us and a Kindle that looks like this, from product patents to portfolio philosophies, but I've got to believe that Amazon didn't poach Panos just so he could preside over conservative iterations on what's come before. I like these new Kindles, but I think the next chapter is the one that'll really wow us. By now, I think most folks understand that a VPN is something that keeps your browsing safe and your privacy secure. Something that lets you watch your favorite shows and access your favorite websites, even if you're traveling to countries that might block them. But what a lot of people don't know is how simple using a VPN can be. That's a big reason I've been using my sponsor Surfshark for five years running. 
Surfshark gives you easy, one-tap security on unlimited devices for one low price. That means you can use it anywhere, from your Android phone to your MacBook, iPhone to Windows PC. And Clean Web is included too, so you get to see the web as it looked before publishers stopped pushing back on advertisers. Secure your privacy with Surfshark. Hit the link in the description and use coupon code Mr. Mobile for an extra four months. And from November 8th to January 1st, you'll get Surfshark at an unbeatable holiday price. This review was produced following several weeks with the new Kindle Paperwhite and a week with the Kindle Colorsoft, both provided by Amazon. As always, Amazon had no copy approval, early preview, or other editorial input into this video. The lone sponsor is Surfshark. Check out my review of the Daylight DC1 to see another 2024 tablet with a special display, and subscribe so you don't miss more Mr. Mobile. The end of the year has a few surprises up its sleeve yet. Till next time, from Michael Fisher, Captain Two Phones on Threads, thanks for watching. And stay mobile, my friends.